Well, good morning everyone and welcome once again to Eggs Orchids. Uh, what I'm proposing to do this morning is uh, do a little bit of different uh, different uh, watering. Um, uh, what I mean by that is that instead of flushing with uh, a pure RO water, I'm going to do a flushing first with uh, Epsom salts. Now Epsom salts is supposed to uh, to remove excess salts that uh, that comes from tap water, but uh, after you flush with uh, Epsom salts, then uh, shortly afterwards you need to flush with pure water. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Well, I've mixed this uh, two-gallon bucket uh, full of RO water, and uh, I've added uh, roughly two tablespoons full of Epsom salts which is giving me a reading around about 400 parts per million. Now this is what I'm going to start flushing these uh, plants with. This is one you never send me. This is uh, quite a rare plant actually. Uh, Paphiopedlum ranzii. And uh, very slow growing, but uh, very well worth it when, uh, when they bloom. The beautiful flowers. So we just flush this with uh, Epsom salts, and then we'll uh, then we'll flush them with pure water. Probably uh, might leave it till in the morning or do it later on this afternoon. Uh, Paphia Pendulum Philippinensis Super. So uh, this is growing very nicely. Nice new growth in the middle in the last few months. So we'll just do the same things with all these plants. I'll not go through all the watering process. I'll just show you. Uh, I'll just show you some of the plants that I think you've probably never seen uh, in my collection. Anyhow, these are all plants that have never bloomed. So uh, we'll just see how they're doing. This is another uh, Paphiopedlum uh, philippinensis robolini. That's the one with the uh, twisted petals when it grows uh, fully. Uh, growing very nicely, a nice new, new growth coming up in the middle. And uh, once again, we'll just uh, we'll just flush with this, and uh, this is the last one I'm showing you. Well, I've watered all the plants with that uh, 400 parts per million of uh, Epsom salts. I've done all the uh, smallish paffia pedlums that is. So uh, let's talk a little bit about Epsom salts. Well, is it not magnesium and... Uh, uh, no, Epsom salts is composed of magnesium sulphate, which is uh, manganese and uh, sulphur. Now sulphur is a very, very old insecticide and pesticide. It's been used over hundreds of years uh, as that thing. Uh, sulfur, as a pesticide, tends to inhibit things like spider mites and thrips. They don't like it. So uh, a spraying of, uh, of Epsom salts every so often should be fine in uh, controlling thrips and things like that. Sulphur also uh, inhibits the uh, germination of fungal spores, which so it can be used to control uh, the growth of any fungi or uh, stop it happening. Here's another Prince Edward of York, which has got quite a long leaf span and uh, growing a very very nice. Uh, new plant there, that's beautiful. This has flowered once before and the flowers were absolutely gorgeous, you've probably seen it in uh, one of my videos. So uh, they're all getting the same treatment today and uh, I think I'm going to flush them all with pure water this afternoon. Now this is a, an unusual one which I thought I'd lost uh, a few months ago but it uh, seems to be taking off well and it's just put a nine new nine nice new leaf growth up there and it's uh, Paphia Pendulum Sanders Parish a cross between uh, Sandrianum and Parishii 
So that should be lo lovely. I don't know when it's going to flower. Uh, I, I don't think it'll be within the next couple of years. So uh, that's beautiful when it does flower anyhow. This is a Paphia Pedalum Angel Hair, which is doing very nicely. A new leaf coming up there. This is a uh, Paphia Pedalum uh, Sandrianum Cross Joanna Burkhardt, which will make the flowers uh, a little bit darker, but uh, they're all these Sandrianum crosses make beautiful, beautiful flowers. Another quite big plant, which is uh, Paphia Pedalum Harold Kupovitz. This is growing very well. It's been in the sun a little bit too long in this hot weather we've had for three months. So the leaves have gone a little bit paler. So the, uh, the Epsom salt should green it up again. Paphia Pedalum Harold Kupovitz. This is a nice plant doing very, very well. It's uh, Paphia Pedalum uh, Colopakingia and it's a division of one of my larger plants. It's coming up very nicely with a nice growth in the middle there. And uh, these get treated all the same as the others, you know, like cal calcium, magnesium, uh, seaweed extract and all the stuff like that, you know. But calcium uh, can generally be uh, denoted in cat layers. Cat layers are noted for uh, being low in calcium, where you can see uh, blemishes on the, uh, especially the older leaves are black and sometimes purple. Sometimes mistaken uh, for sunburn or fungi and stuff like that, but it's not. It's just a lack of calcium. This is another division of a Paphiopedalum Rothschildianum that's doing very nicely. Uh, no new growth on it yet because it's only a division, but I'm expecting it to uh, to take off any time now. And as you can see, there's another new leaf just starting to grow down at the bottom which is a good sign. I have about oh, probably half a dozen of these so uh, uh, I should be alright for Rothschildianums because I've got these and I've got all the big Rothschildianums here. Well there's not been a lot today but uh, thank you for watching, thank you all to all my subscribers and uh, Tomorrow I think I'm going to uh, have a look at the cymbidiums and uh, a few dendrobiums I've got. So until then, thank you for watching again. I'll see you later. Bye.